I got gremlins in my camera today. When you talk about him, and ain't no telling who listening. Feds, anybody fucking with me probably listening. So I'm hiding out in this fucking house in Missouri. Lightweight. I ain't hiding out, but I just need a better place to travel. Now, take a married man, for instance. His wife might do anything he say. You know what I'm saying? Go do this, go do that. Do this, do that. You know, he's pimping, but... You know, he's just not using it in a, in a street form. Or he don't even care about what he's doing. That's why I say pimping is so simple. You know, but long story short, a married man can wake up one day and take his wife doing everything for him and say, look, we're going to do this, we're going to hustle like this, we're going to go to Nevada, you're going to turn a couple of tricks. I mean, what married man is going to do that? You know, conditioned in this type of society we living in. Even though his wife might do shit at work, sucking everybody's dick at work. And he don't even know about it or acknowledge it, ain't even get paid for the shit, which he should be. You know? So people be like, how do you meet these women, prostitutes and vice versa? You know, well, let me tell you something. I meet my women through trial and error. You know? Hey, baby, hey, baby, got me in trouble all my life. But, you know, you can be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Check this out. And after the women don't come, it all depends. You know what I'm saying? All depends on where you at your scenery, where you plan. You know, I like to play downtown. And if I know she worked downtown, I know it's a guarantee, you know, almost that I see her again. And I have my game ready. I have my spit ready the next time I see her. And, you know, from the first time I saw her, you know, I bring a little something to light. You know, might not get her in, might not never get her, but, you know, getting that woman going out with women is all trial and error. You might get it the first time. She might like you, you know, but if you like a person and the person is out of your league, like, which I like all my fucking women, look better than me, got more money than me, better car, way out of my league. Otherwise, how the fuck am I going to get paid? You know what I'm saying? You know, I've been, I do my shit different now. I have three, four, five women with jobs and just sit around and, and collect a motherfucking paycheck because I don't like really being in the street like that no more. You know, it, it's all different type of levels to it. I can break it down the street. I can put on a hat. I can put on shit green clothes. You know what I'm saying? A zoop suit and be a flamboyant pimp. Or I can be a Wall Street pimp. I can put on all black suit, no shirt, no tie, I mean, white shirt. You know, still got the gators on. You know, um, it don't matter. And if you gon' pimp, you gon' need some damn money. Oh, bitch is so materialistic, this and that and that and this. It's all come along with him. How you, what you think women is built on? Materialistic bullshit. Motherfuckers wanna eat, they want clothes, they wanna stunt, they wanna be seen in your shit. So if you ain't got shit, ain't no sense in you even talking about you gonna be a fucking flamboyant ass pimp. If you ain't got no motherfucking car, no money, no house, why the fuck you gonna keep them bitches in a room? You know how fucking expensive that is?